but what you're left with is pure magnesium permanent. I have our MG2 Plus. This is our seawater chalk. So we pump seawater into this vat and then we extract MG2 Plus and we pump the rest of the seawater back into the ocean. And then there's a little synthesizing that happens. It's more pure than regular mined chalk. And it's got a slightly different texture, but I feel like it's really tacky on your hands. It's really grippy and it lasts a bit longer. And it's really low impact. There's a couple other seawater chalk folks out there. And what they do is they take a plot of land and they flood it with seawater. They wait for that seawater to evaporate and then they collect the mineral after. So we just wanted to do something that was low impact and super eco-friendly. So in addition to that, it's in a pre-cycled, it's made out of recycled material and it's recyclable, this container. They're all chunky. So we have our pure chalk and then we also have the block chalk, but you can break it down into a finer dust of how you see fit. Our pure is mine chalk. So there's a slightly different texture feel because this one has like a smaller crystal. So this one feels a little bit finer in your hands. This one feels a little bit coarser in your hands. We test both of them with our XRD testing to test the purity. And the MG2 Plus has a greater purity than our regular mine chalk. So when you mine it, it's not just pure magnesium carbonate. There's other minerals, other crystals that make it in there. And so what we're looking for is is the purity of the magnesium carbonate versus those other minerals and crystals. And so there's a long compound after this that makes actual chalk, but what we pull out of the seawater is engine two plus. And then the synthesizing that happens after that is what turns it into that long compound that is magnesium carbonate.